Hi, my name's Hugh with SRI Instruments, and this is the Model 420 gas chromatograph. There's really only one maintenance item on the GC, and that's the septum. So to change the septum, first of all, release the baby latch. It takes two hands to do that. We've got to lift it up and pull it out. And then this is the septum nut, and inside the septum nut, there is the septum. So if it's hot, you would probably want to use some kind of a tool. This is a, a 7 16 socket, so I can use that to unscrew the septum nut. And it, it's, the septum is inside the septum nut. It's this little green thing in there. It's hot, so that's why I'm being careful when I touch it. So I'll hold the nut with the screwdriver and then we need to remove the old septum nut. If there's, if there's a visible hole in the green septum, then it's definitely bad. If there's no visible hole and you've already got it out, well, the septum is only 75 cents, so let's replace it. So you need some kind of a, of a hook thing, maybe a, an ice pick or something like that, to dig the, the septum out. Let me hold on to it. So, just hook onto that septum and then pull it out. And it looks like this. So you should have a supply of new ones. You can buy them in bulk. They're about 75 cents each or you can get them from SRI. And then you put the new septum in. Now notice that the septum has kind of a narrow side and it has a fat side. So the fat side goes into the nut like this. It's, it's a little bit counterintuitive but that's how it works because the, the, the septum needs to um, seal against the corresponding fitting that it's up against. So you have to kind of coax the septum into the nut. So I have a little screwdriver here and I'm just kind of pushing on one side or the other and coaxing it into the nut so that it sits in there kind of like, like that. Okay, so that's the new septum that's in there. And then we're going to put the septum on top of the nut and then tighten. So this is the, the step that you have to be a little careful because you don't want to get it too tight. You can over tighten it but it really only has to be just a little bit past finger tight. So that's something that you can, if it's cold it's easy to feel. So you just catch the threads and then turn it, oh I don't know, maybe a full turn. You can kind of feel when the, the septum touches the corresponding fitting that it's sealing against and you'll know that it's working because when you turn on the GC, if you've done it correctly, then the flame will light. If you haven't done it correctly, then the flame won't light. So if, if you can see the condensation from the flame is appearing on my shiny wrench. So that means I've got it tight enough. If I loosen the septum nut, watch, the flame will go out because all the hydrogen will leak out here instead of going through the column and ending up at the detector. So as soon as I put the septum with the septum nut on and tighten it, you'll see the flame will spring to life and the condensation will reappear. Let's give it a, there it goes, just like that. See? So that means it's, it's on there right. So there's, it's not good to over tighten the septum. It's kind of adjustable a little bit one way or a little bit the other way. But if you over tighten the septum, it won't last as long as if you get it just perfect, which is kind of just tight enough. So thank you. That's really the only maintenance item on the GC. And thank you for your patience.